how's it going guys neutral mod here welcome back to another video here on the BOG clan channel this is gonna be episode one of overwatch special tactics by fallen warrior I really hope you guys enjoy this video if you haven't already don't forget to like comment and subscribe and don't forget to keep on gaming peace what's up guys fallen warrior here bringing you some brand new overwatch gameplay Today I have a clip of me playing Symmetra on the defend phase on Hanamura. I'm going to walk you through my strategy for defending points A and B, and in this particular game, I wound up getting the play of the game. After watching the video, feel free to try out some of my strategies, as I think they will help you improve your game of Symmetra. If you like the video, feel free to hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe for more. Also, let me know if you want to see more t of these types of videos in the comment section below. Alright guys, that's all for now, and I hope you enjoy. So, to set the scene, I was not originally going to play Symmetra. However, after waiting for my teammates to choose their heroes, I realized we needed a support. From past experiences with enemy Symmetras on this map, I knew that she would be a perfect choice in order to defend point A. Since the defending side, or our spawn point, is pretty far from point A, I knew that Symmetra's teleporter would help my teammates to get back in the fight quicker if they all got wiped out. In addition, Symmetra's sentry turrets, especially when spaced out all over the place, provide a significant level of defense against the attackers and are also just another thing for them to be careful of when trying to capture point A. Symmetra's shields, although they are a bit weak, do add a very slight edge to your teammates' health, especially because the shields regenerate when out of combat, offering them a bit of a buffer before they get eliminated. That is why I make sure to apply a shield to each teammate before we get out of our spawn. My strategy for point A when it comes to sentry turrets is to place them all over the point. Typically, I make sure that the front and side entrances are covered by multiple turrets. I haven't run into much trouble from the rear entrance, which faces the cliff behind the point. What I did in this match is I put two turrets in opposite corners of the front door, then one each on the left and right doors, and two on the back or sides of the belt. Make sure not to put any turrets facing the front as they're easily destroyed by the attackers without them even being inside the capture zone. All you gotta do once your turrets are set up is wait for enemies to get on the point. As your match progresses, it is important that you maintain the positions of your sentries. If one goes down, put another up, maybe in a slightly different spot since your enemies may be getting used to where the sentries are placed. Make sure to give your teammates shields when they respawn and also make sure you use your laser to do further damage on an enemy being attacked by your sentries. During this upcoming fight, I moved around as much as possible and tried not to stand still for too long so that I was not eliminated early on. Luckily, the attackers were more concerned about my sentries rather than taking me out. As they were distracted by my sentries, I continued to hit them with my laser. As they began to destroy my sentries, I just quickly put up more in the places where the destroyed ones used to be. In the end, by using the strategy, I was able to hold the point and walk away alive with a 5 kill streak. When your teleporter ability is up, you can either place it in a corner on point A, behind point A on the cliff, or just hide it in an area that's a short walk to the point. For instance, you can place it in the building to the left of the point. During this match, I chose to put it in the front right corner next to the stairs on point A. After that fight, I mainly focused on getting my turrets back into position. I did shift a couple of rounds to throw the enemy off but I still stuck to the same strategy I mentioned earlier on. All I had to do for the next couple of minutes was wait for Symmetra's cooldown. Just 
Shortly after eliminating the enemy tracer, my defenses began to break down. The attackers began to learn my strategy and eventually wound up destroying my teleporter. After the teleporter was destroyed, they eventually were able to eliminate most of my team and sentries. Even though I was still alive, I did not have the time to reset the current setup I had before. That left me to be the last person to defend the point against their entire team. With almost no sentries left and my teammates respawning and trying to get back to point A, I was the only one left. In this case, I wound up getting killed quickly, and before any of us could contest the point, we lost point A. Since the attackers now had control of A, I began to set up point B. I decided to place the teleporter behind the wall behind point B. Although the teleporter would not make as much of a dent in the time for my teammates to get back on B, I knew it would help and that every second counts. Regarding my sentries for point B, my strategy was to try and hide the turrets within the highlighted ring around the point. I put one sentry on each of the lights by the bridge from the main entrance. I also put one sentry on the side of each of the staircases leading down into the zone from the defender's spawn. The last two I put on the right side in case any attackers decide to attack us from the right side. I chose this setup because the sentries would be able to target anyone within the capture zone from many directions all at once. All I had to do from now till the end of the match was keep my sentries in their places, put my teleporter down whenever it was available, and keep my teammates shielded. Most importantly, I had to do my best to stay alive so that I could continue to maintain my defenses and support my team. That is all for the tactics and strategies I used during this match. I have had success in other matches on Hanamura, using the same exact strategy I've just gone over. Hopefully you've learned something today and I wish you luck in improving your game as Symmetra. Feel free to stick around till the match is over as I got the play of the game. If you learned something new, feel free to like and subscribe as I will be coming out with many more videos like this one in the future. In fact, let me know what hero you want me to go over in my next video in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon.
Play of the game.